In a country where safety dominates everyday concern, a police station would seem a gate. friendly enough Meet spot. Them. They're going to take one of the interpreters. In fact, Iraqi police, or IPs, have been frequent and favorite targets of insurgents. South Arwa District Police Station. On this day, the job of keeping one Baghdad police station secure falls to the 39th MPs. Julie Dermatsky and Finn Percy tag along with Sergeant Morell for a courtesy call on the Iraqi colonel in charge. Before it begins, the mission is almost a bust. Weather's getting bad out there, the dust storms. In the Iraqi desert, day turns to night in an instant. Dust storms brew in the distance, a swirl of sand that might rise a mile high. The last time that happened, they made us all go back to, to shield, which that kind of sucked today because I was expecting to get a lot done. The concern, any possible attack on the station. If helicopters can't fly, there would be no way to medevac the injured to safety. But a reprieve. Roger, staying out in the sector. Cool. We get some stuff done. The choppers can fly. The mission is a go. Every day they're going outside the wire, dealing with uh, IEDs, dealing with uh, mortar attacks, dealing with RPG attacks, small arms fire every day. That is bravery. That is courage. The 39th MPs serve as the shield for a class in firearm safety. The slide needs a stable platform to, re to cycle. Private contractors teach the students are Iraqi officers who will in turn train fellow Iraqis. Most of them are very eager, very eager to learn because it's a dangerous job for them. If you're walking along, bang, bang, bang. The Louisiana MPs give Iraqi police basic training. The only way you can charge the weapon is to take it off safe. International advisors handle the more advanced classes, forensics, and crime scene work. Stand straight up with the weapon in your shoulder. All designed to wean the Iraqis off American support. They take great risk joining the IP, the Iraqi police. See a little bit scared that he'll stay in jail for murder. Down the hall, 108 prisoners cram into three cells. These two cells are for your prisoners that are like simple crimes, uh, misdemeanor crimes, um, you not having papers on their vehicle, maybe they slapped their wife. Um, the other cell back there for the murderers and um, detainees that, are, you know, fought with police, you know, things like that. The Louisiana guardsmen noticed the jail's not exactly built to American standards. The police station doesn't feed them here, their, their families feed them. So if they don't have families or anybody to bring them food, they just don't eat. Sleep comes in shifts. Half of them will stand up and move to one side, the other half will lay down and they'll get to sleep. Let them know where, where we need to take his picture for our records. The MPs run biometrics on some of the prisoners. They use a special camera to photograph eyes and faces and to grab fingerprints stored in a huge U.S. government database. They'll go out and do entire villages. Then they'll, they'll just, you know, fingerprint them and get their eyes scanned. If in the future the inmate shows up in America, a red flag will come up. There's a lot more trust now between us and the, the Iraqi police, and there's more trust between the Iraqi police and the Iraqi citizens. Private contractor Patrick Miner tells Dermatsky the country is much more secure now than when he worked in Iraq a couple years ago or even last year. I, th I think we're doing a good thing. If you guys didn't do this job and, and um, the, the police weren't trained, what would happen? I, I just like any civilized place, if you don't have, you know, order of law, things run rampant and crime is, runs crazy. But only a few weeks ago, fresh bombing attacks killed nearly 100 Iraqis. The government security chief blamed al-Qaeda. For the 39th MPs and others involved, securing Iraq remains a job unfinished. Salam, salam. There's a lot of really good people here that just want a nice place to live with their family.